Hello everyone, so in this tutorial we are going to learn about T flip flop. Alright, so T flip flop is basically uh, the single input version of the Jacob flip flop formed by tying both inputs together. So that means we are going to short J and K, the inputs of J and K will be shorted together and it will produce T flip flop. Alright, just like uh, the diagram which is given over here. So we can see that uh, both the inputs J and K are tied together here and uh, it produced a new input which is known as T. Alright, so this is the T flip flop, this is the diagram of T flip flop. So we can see uh, that the from the truth table of JK flip flop. So let's go back to the truth table of JK flip flop. So this is the truth table of JK flip flop. So if we just short both of these connections J and K, right? So that means if J is 0, then K would be 0, and if J is 1, then k would be 1. That means we will only be getting 0 0 or 1 1 in case of uh, T flip flop, right? Because we just uh, we just tied both of those inputs together and we will only be getting 0 0 or 1 1. We won't be getting 0 1 or 1 0 in case of T flip flop. So if we just cancel them from the truth table of JK flip flop and since J and K are basically the same stuff now, so we can just write them as T, alright? And we don't need to keep the same input uh, twice, so we can just cancel this column. So this basically is the truth table of T flip flop, alright? So if T equals to 0, then output would be memory slash no change, and if T equals to 1, then the output would be toggle. And this is what is written over here this is what is sorry this is what is written over here okay so this is the truth table for t flip flop so if t equals to 0 then memory slash no change and if t equals to 1 then it would produce toggle and now to derive the characteristic table from the truth table the characteristic table always has two parts in the left part we will write the present state and flip flop input which is t so two variables four combinations and in the right side we will write uh, the next state which is q t plus 1 so for the first row here we can see that t equals to 0 so we go back to the truth table and we see that if t equals to 0 then it says no change that means uh, will not change the value of the present state so the present state is 0 so the next state will be 0 again and in the next row t equals to 1 so for 1 the output is toggle so that means we'll change the present state value if the present state value is 0 then the next state value would be 1 and again if t equals to 0 then it would uh, produce no change uh, from the present state so the present state is 1 and the next it would be 1 again and if t is 1 then it would mean uh, I have to toggle the value of the present state so the present state is 1 uh, since the present state is 1 this time, the next state would be 0, alright? Remember, toggling means just changing the value of the present state, just complementing the value of the present state, alright? So this is how we can derive the characteristic table with the help of truth table, alright? Now, uh, we want to build the excitation table based upon the characteristic table, alright? So here's the excitation table for uh, T flip-flop and this is the characteristic table for T flip-flop so in case of excitation table there are usually two parts in the left part uh, we have the present state and the next state uh, these are Q and Q plus so two variables and four possible combinations and in the right side we'll only write the flip-flop input which is T in this case there is only one input in case of T flip-flop right so in the first row we can see that the present state is 0 and next state is 0 so we go back to the characteristic table and we find out those specific combinations where the present state is 0 next state is 0 and there is only one specific combination with those values where the present state is 0 and the next state is 0 and for this co uh, specific combination the value of t is 0 right so that's why we write 0 in the case of excitation table and again in the next row the uh, present state is 0 and the next state is 1 we go back to the characteris characteristic table we find out this specific combination where the present state is 0 and next state is 1 we find the value of t which is 1 so we write 1 here and then for the next part the present state is 1 and next state is 0 so we find that specific combination uh, okay so this is not the combination sorry so we find 
that specific combination where the present state is 1 and next state is 0 and the value of t is 1 so here the value of t is 1 and for the last part where present and uh, next state both are 1 so this is the combination where the present state and next state both are 1 we can see that the value of t is 0 and we write 0 here okay so this is how we can build the excitation table of t flip-flop is in the help of characteristic table of t flip-flop so this is it for the t flip-flop and that's it for all the flip-flops and all the tables of all the flip-flops all right so thank you everyone thanks for watching